donkey of the day and I deserve it. People need to know. They well, need... you need to tell them. I am. you have the voice. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. It's time for donkey of the day. It's a read, <laughs> but you're so good at it. You're trying to be a fake-ass Charlemagne. There's only one Charlemagne to God. Damn, uh, Charlemagne. Who you give a donkey of the day to now? <clears throat> Donkey of the Day for Friday, October 25th goes to Mel, Mel Gibson. Okay, listen, it's presidential election season. We got 11 days left, I believe, until election day. Uh, according to the internet and others, I am getting paid by Kamala Harris's campaign to talk about her every day. So let me earn my check. Okay. Can look, I hold some? <laughs> I'm going to have it. As soon as I get this <laughs> invisible money, I'll give you some. Look, I think most people have their mind made up by now. Uh, some voting Democrats, some voting Republicans, some voting third party, some not voting at all. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what you choose to do as long as you are making an informed dis- decision. Okay, a caller called up here earlier and said that I sometimes get mad when people tell me they're voting for Trump. I don't get mad when folks say they're voting for Trump. I get mad when people tell me dumbass reasons. They are voting for Trump. And Mel Gibson was caught on TMZ cameras giving his reasons for why he's choosing to vote for Trump. And let's listen to what he said. I don't think it's going to surprise anyone who I vote for. I'm going to guess Trump. Trump. (laughs) Is that a bad guess? I think it's a pretty good guess. What do you think the world will be like uh, in a second, a second uh, term with with President with the President Trump second term? A lot of people. I, are... I, I know what it'll be like if we let her in. Yeah. Oh, really? And that ain't good. Yeah. Well, Miser- this miserable track record, right. appalling track record. No, no policies to speak yeah. of. Yeah. And the border, right? And she's got the IQ of a fence post. <laughs> See, it makes me laugh when I hear people say things like the vice president has a miserable, appalling track record, uh, no policies, okay? Especially if the person you're supporting is Donald J. Trump. I don't even have time to really run down his resume. Uh, You know, I don't really have time to break down his concepts of a plan. I would break down his plan, but he don't really have any. But I'll give you a few. uh, I'll give you a few things on his resume in no particular order. He's been impeached twice. He led an attempt to cool this country. He said he wanted to terminate the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. He downplayed the severity of COVID-19. Not to mention in 2018, he dismantled the National Security Council's Global Health Security Office. Those are the people who respond to things like pandemics. He's talking about jailing his political opponents. He's talking about jailing journalists. The guy appointed three far-right judges who overturned Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade. I was born in 1978. So that means women currently have less reproductive rights now than they did when I was born. Okay, less constitutional rights now than they did when I was born. And I haven't even brought up the 88 criminal charges, 34, which which he's been convicted of. Now, I'm I'm just scratching the surface of things that are on this man's resume. It is long. Okay, so if you're going to say Kamala Harris has an appalling, miserable track record, but you're choosing to support Trump, that just doesn't make sense to me. My personal opinion. And for all you folks who keep talking about the economy will be better, that is just another false narrative that we, the American people, have bought, bought into. Because it's not true. The economy does better under Democrat presidents. I just found this out maybe two months ago. Why? Because I looked it up. You know why I looked it up? Because I wanted to see how much better the economy does under Republicans, since this is what I've always been told, only to find out it's not true. Google it. Okay, look it up. The economy does better under Democrats. If you don't feel it right now, I understand, but we still recovering from a global pandemic. Remember that. But this inflation y'all keep saying is high, it's not. It's currently at 2.4%. The problem is inflation is low, but the cost of everything else is high. But that's a whole nother conversation, okay? Tune in to John Hope Bryant's Money and Wealth podcast for more of that kind of talk. But back to Mel Gibson. The other part of what Mel Gibson said that irritates me uh, is when he said Vice President Kamala Harris has fence post level IQ. So you're saying you think she's dumb. Okay. But then you're voting for Donald Trump. I'm going to just sit back and let you hear a bunch of dumb things that have come out of Donald Trump's mouth. Mm. Listen. Ready? You have the cameras rolling? The kidney has a very special place in the heart. It's an incredible thing. Nobody knew that health care could be so complicated. Everybody right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs so it'd be interesting to check that so that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with but it sounds it sounds interesting to me if you have a windmill anywhere near your house congratulations your house just went down 75 percent in value and they say the noise causes cancer you tell me that one okay china has total respect 
for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large a brain. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. But there's no better words than stupid. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating the pets. That's just a little bit. That's a, literally, I told my producer to find a bunch of dumb things Donald Trump said. He found that in about five minutes. You can just literally Google dumb things Donald Trump I was about Trump to say, said. they probably got TikTok <laughs> me, uh, messages. <laughs> so, so if Kamala has the IQ of a Finch post, then what level does Donald Trump have? I'm seriously asking. A rock. But, but, I, listen. Rocks might be smarter, okay? <laughs> vote for whoever you want to vote for. Just be informed about it. And if you dislike a candidate and you have your reasons, I'm fine with that too, as long as they make sense. Nothing Mel Gibson said makes sense, okay? Most of your arguments in regards to supporting Trump make no sense. You have to ignore so much to justify your reasoning. I used to believe the economy argument, but it's just not true. He ruined the economy when he was in office, even before COVID, and his economic plans. The tariffs that he's talking about now, that would hurt U.S. workers and businesses tremendously. But whatever. All I'm simply saying is vote for who you want to vote for. Just make sure it's an informed vote because this man's was this man's reasoning for who he wants to vote for was not. Please give Mel Gibson the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do your thing, shorty. Just make it make sense. What's dumber than a rock? The cement? Wow. Actually, I think you just answered your own question without mm. answering it. Look at that. No, I I'm, think you did. I'm smarter than a fence post. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would think cement. I would think. You said cement, right? Yeah. Isn't cement a form of rock? But it, it's like, it's not like together. Oh, it is together, but laid out. I was just thinking. Okay, I'm going to stop. No, you weren't thinking. That's the whole problem. You just <laughs> was talking. Because I, yeah, okay, look. This you haven't given this no thought. I, I did. Keep I was sitting here. Work it out. Work so it listen, through. I was thinking the rock is a little bit smarter than the cement because the rock is together in a solid form. You can pick it up and throw it. Cement is just like dumb and laying there. I can't believe we ever let anybody from Delaware <laughs> run this country. <laughs> You're proving why. You're Yo, proving why he had I to I swear, down. I was even writing it down over here. I, look at my notes. I was Delaware, writing it down. ladies and gentlemen. I, it went, but when I, before Lauren I said LaRosa that, I, look at my notes. Before I said that out loud, it sounded uh, great. Like, yeah, like, I got it. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. Um, when Crickets. we come back. Uh, Crickets have, are just smarter than a rock. We have Earth Gang in the building. <laughs> <laughs> just keep digging your hole. Keep digging you in Delaware's hole. Okay. Donkey of the Day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.